In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the Mesh Tools Edge Spline Generator to create cool HUD style graphics using an animated shader input. So here we are. Here you can see we've got this plane object with a material, and that's just applied, and the material is using the standard material in the luminance channel. And if I push play, you can see we've created this fake MRI style scan. And that was just done using the the clipping plane on the redshift camera. If you select our camera, enable the clipping plane, you can then drag that through your object. Let's go back here. So we've got our animated texture and this is what we're going to turn into cool spline data. So let's hide this. We don't need to see it now. We're going to create another plane. And this is what's going to be our input plane. We're then going to go to Insidium, Mesh Tools, and we're going to add a Mesh Tools Edge Spline. That wants a child object, so we're going to put our new plane as a child, and you can see it's created these splines based on the input mesh. So the mesh is just a, a quad-based mesh, and that's what we're getting. So we go to the Edge Spline. Let's just turn off that gradient display so it's a bit easier to see, and hide this mesh. So once that's hidden, what we want to do is we want a bit more detail. So let's increase the width and height segments on this. Somewhere around 80 or 90 is fine. And then go back to the object tab. And where we want to put it is in this mapping area. So where we have texture source is a little fold down and we can select texture tag. So once that's selected, we can drop in any texture tag, which means the mapping, which is on the object already is already mapped and ready to go. Next thing we want to do is make sure we're to talking to the correct channel. So at default it's color, but we've got that material in the luminance. So just set that to luminance and straight away you can start seeing something happen. So you can play and you can see there's that scan going through the input of whatever our base mesh is. We've got tolerance, so if you want more or less of these, this information to come across, Something like that looks pretty cool. And then you can adjust things. We've got growth, so you can scan it across like that as it's animating. You can increase the offsets if you want more or less. We're gonna leave that one. And then we've got planes as well. So if you want just the V or just the, uh, just the U or just the V, you can create that, which looks quite cool because that's even more scan-like because you've only got one layer working there, which is pretty cool. You've also got some offsets as well, so you can stretch those out, like something like that. You can put dashed lines in there so as well. You've got quite a lot of control with this. So what we'll do is we'll leave that one there. So I'm quite happy with that one. It looks pretty cool as the base input. And now we can copy and paste these. So I'm gonna create a copy and drop this one down. I'm gonna scale that base mesh, so the base plane slightly, so it's a bit bigger and a bit more offset. Let's change the color, let's go for a nice blue, like that, and then we will drop the plane count as well, the segments, so it's slightly different, every layer is going to be a little bit different, go like that, change this back to combined, and let's reset those. So it's a square, but then we're going to dash line it. Actually, we will increase those. So it's more like a cross hatch. That was pretty cool. Let's get a few less of those ones. Something like that. Looking cool. It's got that really nice little flickery effect going on there. Let's create one more. And we'll lift this one up. And perhaps we'll scale this one down. And we'll give it a nice red color. So we'll go into there, change it to a nice vibrant red. That's cool. And then let's go into its options. And with this one, we will go for that cross hatch look. Set that to combined. So it creates like a little grid of crosshairs, which is quite cool. Something like that. And let's adjust the plane size so they're a bit bigger. So like that. So if we push play, get our cool scan happening. Like that. So that's a really quick, easy look at how we can use the Mesh Tools Edge Spline to create animated HUD-style graphics.